Bonnie Dean with Starway. And I'm Dominique Clark with the Meridor Weekly News. Just kidding! We're just twinning today because here on Miramonte campus it's Twin Day, one of Miramonte's favorite spirit days. Let's take a look. Although on most Fridays, a wave, of, a wave of excitement sweeps across the Miramonte campus, many juniors are putting aside their typical Friday night plans and dreading waking up tomorrow on Saturday morning. Tomorrow, many juniors will be taking the SAT. With the SAT coming up tomorrow and SAT and ACT dates coming up in June, many students are confused whether to take the SAT or the ACT or both. Let's take a look. The SAT is the most widely used college admissions test. It has math, critical reading, and essay and writing portions. The time sections range anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes each. If you choose to skip a question, no points are taken off. But if you get a question wrong, you're penalized. Many criticize that the SAT tricks test takers where the, S where the ACT is more straightforward. The SAT offers subject tests that can be taken on a different date in subjects, in subjects ranging from physics to Spanish. The ACT is another test looked at by college admissions. It has an optional essay portion, science, math, and English portions. The SAT does not penalize students for getting an answer incorrect. However, you are given less time to answer questions compared to the ACT. Although the ACT has a science section that the SAT lacks, it doesn't offer any subject tests. For the most part, colleges don't care. They will accept either. There is an exception, although they don't say it, but Cal Poly for in, um, prefers the ACT for engineering courses. Okay, the key differences are um, there is a science section on the ACT. So students who are really strong and knowledgeable in science, uh, that will uh, be a place for them to shine. Uh, the SAT has no trigonometry on the test where the ACT does. Uh, they both have, the SAT has an essay, ACT is optional, but it really isn't. All colleges are looking for the uh, essay to be included. Uh, one of the nice things about the ACT versus the SAT is there's no penalty for guessing. So if you get a wrong answer, you're not penalized. Uh, the SAT, 33% of your score on math uh, versus 25% of your score on ACT. Uh, on the SAT, questions follow order of difficulty. On the ACT, they're random. Uh, your biggest challenge on the SAT is to avoid traps. The biggest challenge on the ACT, there's less time per question. Good luck to all the Miramani students taking the SAT tomorrow. That concludes today's news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Get on that!